Beksong award-winning actor Anyo Sop has been impressed with his K-drama transformations in the past years. You may know him from his roles in dramas such as Still 17, Abyss, and Dr. Romantic 2. His success from his acting skills brought him to be more popular and successful to this day. Here are 10 facts about Anyo Sop that you may not know. He is a Canadian citizen. Anyo Sop was born on April 17, 1995, in Seoul, South Korea. Not many know that he actually lived for a while in Toronto, Canada, back when he was seven years old and obtained Canadian citizenship. He later moved back to South Korea when he was 17 to pursue his passion in the entertainment industry while his family stayed in Canada. This explains his fluency in English. And oh, his English name is Paul. He pursued acting because he watched a lot of movies. The actor made his acting debut in the 2015 MBC's drama Splash Splash Love, which marks his potential as a sought-after actor. He was then cast in one more happy ending and was soon followed with a slew of projects. According to him, he pursued acting because of the many movies he watched when he was young. He shared, My father liked movies. I remember watching them with him ever since I was little. While watching them, I came to naturally wonder, what will it be like if I appeared on the screen? He's a method actor. This actor tries his best to get immersed in his roles. He will often go the extra mile to truly become his character. For his role in Lovers of the Red Sky, he has even taken to learning the Gaomungo, Korean traditional zither, much like his character Haram. He said that, at first, the instrument seemed very unfamiliar, but as he kept learning how to play it, he became fond of the experience. Knowing what it is like to actually play the instrument would definitely mean a deeper performance on screen. It is admirable to see him dedicated to his craft. He often went to the hospital because of lovers of the red sky's red contact lenses. In mid-2021, he starred in the SBS's drama Lovers of the Red Sky as a red-eyed man who lost his sight due to an unknown accident while attending a rain-making ritual in his childhood. The actor shared that it was a project where he experienced a lot of challenges. In particular, there were many scenes where he had to act in front of a blue screen. He confessed that he continuously had to think while acting because he had to create something from nothing. He also found it difficult to use the red contact lenses. He revealed in an interview, wearing the lenses was quite difficult. They didn't fit my eyes well, so I went to the hospital from time to time. His parents forbade him to be an actor. Even though his name has now been known to many audiences, he was apparently banned by his parents from entering the entertainment world. Having siblings who work as pharmacists and accountants, the choice to become an actor might sound extreme to his parents. He admitted that his parents gave him a warning when he decided to become an actor. Being an actor is not easy. The road to being successful and getting public recognition is not straight and smooth. Many small actors have to fight hard to make ends meet. For about two years after his acting debut in Splash Splash Love, he only got small roles. Then since playing in the drama Still 17, he began to get attention. He got more attention after he starred in Dr. Romantic 2, which eventually earned him a trophy at the prestigious Beksong Arts Awards. In a variety show of My Ugly Duckling in 2021, he mentioned that he had started living in Korea alone since the age of 17, after moving from Canada. He shared, My parents worried a lot. They were concerned until before I made money, but now that I earn enough to make a living, they support me a lot. His drinking habits. Drinking is part of the culture in South Korea, and frequent consumption of alcoholic beverages is not a strange thing in this country. An Yo Sop revealed that he enjoys drinking beer and soju at home. He explained, whether someone is there or whether I'm alone, at the end of the day is a drink. I drink like it's a present I give to myself. I barely drank yesterday because of the recording, but I drink two to three bottles of soju on a resting day if I'm drinking a lot and one bottle of soju if I'm drinking a little. I mostly drink alone and I eat comfort food like steamed or fried eggs. The actor shared that, although he has a Sundere personality, seemingly cold on the outside but thoughtful on the inside, on a normal basis, he gets more affectionate when he's drunk and confesses his love to the people around him. He elaborated, I think that the closer you are, the more you should express that. Since I normally can't express my feelings to my friends, I borrow the power of alcohol to express that. I normally say, I love you, while hugging them. He has an interesting shower habit. While most people shower after they exercise, the actor says that he prefers to shower before his workout. 
He revealed this interesting fact in the SBS's variety show My Ugly Duckling. He said that the reason why is because he wants to enjoy the workout itself and feel fresh while he's doing it. He then added that he doesn't shower again after the workout. Unfortunately, entertainer Sa Jong Hoon could not understand why he would do things that way. An Yo Sop clarified that he showers before bed anyways, but the studio was still very intrigued by his interesting way of doing things. He's a cat person. If you follow him on Instagram, you might notice that he has an abundance of cat photos. He has a pet cat named Ball, whose name was derived from his English name, Paul. He adores this ball of fluff so much, and he said in an interview with The Swoon that he gets healing from him. He also said in an interview, I am happiest when spending any free time with Ball. His ideal type. When he was asked what his ideal type of woman is, he answered that he likes someone bright with positive energy, and he likes intelligent and wise women. He said that he likes someone that he feels like he can learn a lot from. He also hopes that they could communicate well. He thirsts for knowledge. When asked what he tries to continuously do while acting in an interview for Marie Claire, he replied it's learning. He expressed his great thirst for knowledge, saying that it's important not to lose the desire for learning, even though there comes a moment when you're older and you believe that you know everything. On a question regarding his life principles, he shared to El Korea, the beginning is always scary. All the decisions I've made until now were brave first steps. Once I begin like that and gradually move forward, up until that point becomes my domain.